Why is it back uh, about my face card being clean, meaning I do value the fact that you can look at me and say, if any say you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. That means the world. Mm -hmm. Now, come back to the topic. What the shit, the shit that I was worried about prior to my incarceration was just letting you know that you knew, make sure you knew that I was that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Right, the man. Feel me. Yeah. That's right. I'm the motherfucker. Yeah. I'm the shit to stain you toilet paper. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? That's how I felt. And so by me going to New York, coming back and getting a deal, still had cocaine left, self-sabotage. Because I'm in these streets. Hmm. I want you to know I'm in these streets. Hmm. Even though it's known that the deal is there. Hmm. Everybody know this. Hmm. But yeah, I ain't changed. I'm still that motherfucker. I'm in these streets. Right? Knowing I need to just do this. And get this shit away from me. Let me go get this chick. You feel what I'm saying? But because I was worried about what everybody in this room thought about me at that time, mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that you knew I was everything that any motherfucking grown man with, with the right frame of mind would not want to be. I wanted to make sure that you knew that I was that. Mm -hmm. I was a home invader, a robber, a drug seller, a kidnapper, and a rapper. And I want you to know that. So I get back and say I got to keep living a life till goddamn I get the check. Sabotage. Mm -hmm. Ended up going to prison for 10 years. This joker here in prison, don't let his cool, calm disposition mm. and demeanor fool. <laughs> <laughs> don't let that shit fool you. That's right. Huh? So, he and I did time together. He was a shit star national motherfucker with the niggas, with the craziest motherfuckers from DC. Um. We run the compound, motherfucker. Woo 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 But what I'm saying is, is that through, it ain't got nothing to do with age, right? Because you got 50 year old dudes that still boys in the mind. You got 50 year old women still females in the mind. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Nothing to do with age. She and I had a discussion earlier today about. <laughs> Your mind frame. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you born a male because you got penis and testicles. She born a female because she got vagina and breast. But you only become a man. She only becomes a woman when she changes her mindset. Right. And once you become a man and a woman, you want better for not only yourself. Everybody but for around. Those around. That's right. So this is what we're doing right here. You know, everybody in this room can can say strongly, "Yeah, I've sabotaged myself." And da, 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 da. But the truth is, man, has your mind frame changed? Mm -hmm. And if your mind frame has changed, how can we, and I say this all the time to Mr. Woodhull, because it's a delicate situation when we're dealing with the youngsters. That's right. You see, when you're dealing with inner city youngsters, it's different than dealing with suburban youngsters. Because mm -hmm. suburban youngsters want to be cases, want to be hood. For all of us from the hood, we know how we should get. The dudes that are from the suburbs, when they come to the project, see their grandma, we'll send them out and go do all the stupid shit. Right. Bust the wind out. Go do this. And he want to be down so right around. He'll do it. He'll do it. He want to be down so bad, he going to do anything. <laughs> right. Right? 
So, am I right or wrong? No, I'm right. So, here we have come from that shit, grown from that shit. Now, the thing is, as your mind frame changes enough to where we got to do this, like I was just saying, you got to tell Mr. Woodhull all the time. I call him that, Mr. Woodhull, being sarcastic. That's why right. just being irritated. Yeah. <laughs> You're just being irritated. What we have to do, if we're going to be leaders, seriously, is we have to speak to the ones, first of all, that can relate to us. Right. All right, so what we do, we have to manipulate mm -hmm. a youngster to think he thought about doing the right shit. Mm -hmm. It's inception. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to slick, you clean, clean, you slick, you know you slick mouth, you got slick tongue. Not saying in a bad way, but saying you got to get the gag. So you have to be able to talk to a youngster and make him feel like it's his motherfucker. Right. Yeah, I'm going down there. You got a damn job. That's right. Did that answer your question now that you just had? And I got a perfect example. My brother was in.